What's good YouTube, it's your boy Cardi, and in today's video, I'm showing y'all boys my center build that is a VC glitch in NBA 2K25. This center build has been dogging and dominating in the stage, right? So drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications before we even get into this. Look at me feasting, getting in them lanes. Look, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you everything you need to know about this build. The whole video is just gonna be gameplay of this build because it is a actual VC glitch. And then at the end, you're gonna see a build that gets posted Posterizer Hall of Fame, Legend Rebound Chaser, Legend Brick Wall, Legend Rebound Chaser, Gold Blocking Badges, insane build. It gets standing dunks like Shaq. Look at me in the lanes. Hall of Fame Interceptor Reverse me. Come on now. Like, look, I know this video was about the stage, but even in the comp proving grounds, before we actually get into the VC glitch part of this build, look at me cooking up. Come on now. Full court dribbling on a center. Talk to me. I just want you to know, no one is dogging me. When I play basketball guys with this build, I promise you, I'm getting every single rebound. Look at me cooking up. This is me having fun. Where is he jumping to? Where is he jumping to? Where is he going? Please, someone let me know. This build's insane, man. I can't lie to you. Just rip it off of him. Go up with a dunk. Look, bro. If you want a good center build in NBA 2K25, I've got the center build for you. Solo shooting it to the moon, and I'm just too big for him down there. Again, too big for him. Give me that. Kick it back out and we make the possession stay alive. That is one of the most important things on this game. Your guards are gonna miss. You gotta keep the possession alive. Give me that. Give me that lane. Give me that. Give me that lane. Chuck it up. Screw it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even matter because I know I'm gonna secure every single possession possible for my team. Literally. Go ahead, look. They bricks. Give me that board. Now go ahead and throw it down. Look. Look at that pass accuracy. That'll be, that'll be key later on in the video. Don't be worried about that pass accuracy. Look at me throwing dots again. Snagging again it's all i do bro on this build all i do is snag all i do is dunk look like prime dwight howard look like blake griffin look like deandre jordan i just soar through the air like superman i mean i'm just too good i'm too good on this build man all right boys game one of this vc glitch center look you can just see in all these clips i keep the play alive by getting rebounds i get second chance points slam it down standing dunk or not look at me right here keeping the play alive look i'm not even in the play fly through i try to tip it in on some troll shit but i kept the play alive hit my guard guess what could doink i get the rebound again set it up for another green i come up try to set him a screen but it doesn't matter i kept the play alive no rebound is free against me i'm fighting for every single one i'm putting a body on somebody look at my dot throwing dots on the fast break that's all this little preview of basketball guys right there for you right here this dude gets a rebound. give me that smacking that give me that you're not scoring on me and guess what shit you're not gonna guard me you're gonna play the lane the whole time let me lay it on both y'all lay i'll take my vc let's let's get up out of here with my vc look at the board count 11 to 3 6 11 3 and one block most of the time i have more steel they weren't even throwing it in the lane right now me and solo were going crazy on defense to the point the guard left the guard quit out he didn't want any more game two right now as I'm loading up, we are moving on to the 10K in the stage. We're trying to get 10,000 VC for one single game. This is not my career. We're trying to get 10 bands. All right, and I'm playing a six foot seven right now. He is a 1v1 me partner. I am friends with him. He is a comp center. All right, look at what I'm doing to him. I'm too lethal on the slip. You got to put some. Listen, I want every single one of you to understand in this game, wait out the reach, throw a dot. I set him up. But look, Mike Wang wants us to miss. We're shooting realistic percentages. Just like Steph Curry only shoots 46. You're 99. You're 99 three-pointer legend badge. Lethal zone guard can't hit all his shots. Look at me, bro. All I do is keep plays alive. I'm Mr. Keep the play alive, bro. I'm Mr. Keep the play alive for my team. That's what has to happen when you're on center this year. You cannot be a popper getting snagged on. All right, poppers are good, but you got to keep the play alive. Look, that board I set up, I'm blinking red, still fighting my own in the paint. We set up a green. Again, you just got to play your role, inside center dog. Look, they're leaving the slip. I see that guard. What are you doing? You think I don't got vision? Bang. Solo's out that corner sparking. Look, secure the rebound over both of them. They're lock in the center. They're too little. I need my 10K. I need my chest with a dip, okay? I need it with a dip, setting up my guard. I just think this build's too insane, bro. Quick slip, too much. Give me my 10K. Run me my 10K. We outboarded them 7 to 1. Solo helped me there. Solo helped me there with some rebounds. But this is how you win. Our guard didn't shoot that good. But in NBA 2K20, motherfucking can't hit a shot. Mike Wang, he wants you to be realistic shooting. This is what you got to do. It's what you got to do is make it inside because your guard is going to miss. I hate to tell you, 2K is going to make your guard miss. Right now is game number three and you're not gonna believe what we're playing seven foot three center you think i'm snagging on him or you think it's gonna be a hard time well let's just see 
All right, mister, get you some points. Go ahead and guard me. Hello, you're too little down there, Mr. 7-3. Wake up. Wake up down here. Look, I'm catching it right here. You're too slow. What are you reaching at, buddy? Hey, come on now. I don't even go crazy with the lobs in this video. I want you to understand this build gets all the contact lobs in the game. The lobs are crazy. My guard was too scared to throw the lob, but look at me. What do you think this is? You think this paint's sweet over here? No, solo getting the steal. Look, free board for me. Free board for me. This is too easy. I, should, I might go coast to coast. Look, I was about to split that. They didn't reach right there. I was about to split that. I mean, come on now. Once again, I try to tell y'all boys that I'm Mr. Keep the Play Alive. Look, I hit solo off of off the rebound. Kadoink. Trying to tell you, I go up with it. Kadoink. Shit, we got to try somebody else. Let's go around. Ring around the Rosie in NBA 2K25. Who is out of the algorithm and who's going to hit a shot? Get my boy Chad wide open. Bang. Mr. Keep the Play Alive. And you understand, I'm going to double tap RT on you. And look at this quick slip. I guess you're guarding that. <laughs> <laughs> now look i mean by the end of this video if you make this build you're gonna be mr keep the play alive rebound seal the deal look drop a like and subscribe i'm giving you the pure fast vc glitch now let's get into game number four look when you get on this build your slips are gonna be too lethal bro you're gonna be dunking like shaq standing up with a 93 driving dunk it's gonna be too much bro it's gonna be too much for them to guard and if they don't guard it it's free points like i just do a up down make them come up do it up down again you're eventually gonna get in look at me i should have hawked this lane look 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 how do i not get this 2k hall of fame interceptor not getting that but you know easy rebound doesn't matter throwing the break every single time good pass sack i'm a dog bro i'm a dog just feed me i'm a dog look at my look at my guard shooting doesn't matter give me that you're too little you're too little buddy i'm sorry to tell you you're too little again snag that come here we need all that Everything that comes off that rim, we need it. And look, shit, I don't know what they're doing trolling, but look, we're still hooping though. I'm still printing BC. We were trolling in this game. Look at them. What are they doing? I'm just waiting out to all the reaches, trying to, you know, assess what I'm going to do. Watch this quick slip. It wasn't there. I'm like, all right, I'm going back up down real quick. <laughs> I'm too fast. Double tap RT. I'm flying past you. Look at me going crazy. 10 and 8. Three rebounds on the other side. Tough balls. Let's go into the next game. I'm feasting once again. What's new? I'm not even showing off the dunking ability. Look at me cooking through the lane. Huh. Come here. Hello. Hello. Bro. I mean, who's doing it like me on the inside center, bro? Justin Jefferson back door. Oh, my God. I can't even look at the screen. I can't even look at the screen. I can't even look at the screen. What am I doing right now? What am I doing to these boys out here on the stage, in the comp stage right now? Just taking the VC, Mr. Put It Down solo gives me an easy dunk. I mean... This build is ridiculous, bro. It's probably the most fun I've had on this game because I can't shoot. Come here. Give me that lane. In case you didn't know, it's still Prime Dion. It's still Prime Dion. I am Justin Jefferson, but I'm also Prime Dion. I'm also Prime Dion. Don't get that fucked up. Just, you know, just don't get that fucked up. All right? I just want you to understand, don't don't get it twisted. Look, up, down them. Up, down them. We were down because we were messing around in this game. If you've been paying attention, you'll see we were down in this game. We were down in this game, but I'm I'm here now. I'm here now. You see an inside center with perimeter defense? Have you seen it before? Have you seen it before? Because you're seeing it. You're witnessing it right now. And guess what? I need that rebound. I'm, I'm, I'm dead tired right now. But guess what? I'm trying to make sure we win this game. This is important to me. This means something to me. This means something to me. This means something to me. Give me that rebound on both of them. It means something to me. I need my VC. This is not a game. I need my VC, boy. That's what y'all are understanding. We had four steals as a team. That's what we do. This game is about defense. They're gonna make you miss. It's about defense and rebounding. I just gave you the keys to success. Now I'm gonna give you all the dunk packages for this build. I'm gonna give you this entire build, the best build in the game, the best center build in the game. It's a VC glitch. I'm trying to tell you. Listen to me when you hear me say that. I'm trying to tell you. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Drop a like, subscribe. Let's go. All right, boys. So this is the build you're gonna make. Center, six foot nine, 247 on the weight, seven foot five wingspan. Now understand, I did every single thing here for a reason. Every single aspect of this build is for a reason so if you have any problems just off what i just said then just hear me out and let me cook okay you got to hear everything out every single thing i did is important though even the weight down to the last pound is important it's by design seven foot five wingspan by design six foot nine by design so listen all right i'm gonna go ahead and do the physicals first because i feel like all these other badges are affected by it so if i upgrade these other things you're not gonna be able to see the badges what badges you get until i do the physical so we're gonna go ahead and do the physical 76 speed and 76 agility all right, off the rip, max agility. Strength goes up to a 95. With the 247 pounds that we went, you have a little sliver of room for that one extra strength that you use a cat breaker on. If you go 96, it's too expensive. You cannot make a similar build. You can 
cannot make a build like this 80 vertical next thing we're talking about is the driving dunk put that up to a 93 you get every single contact lob in the game you get all good dunk packages you've probably seen me in the video catching lobs contact dunking reverse dunking spinning around the court pulling up you know crazy dunk packages just getting a rebound we're up by a lot i'm like i'm not passing this thing and i just sprint blow out dribble do like a crazy spin move with my 50 ball handle or whatever i end up with yeah 53 this is what i end up with and i'll just mess around and do crazy things so this build is super fun to play on when it comes to just finishing in general all right now most of the comp people i know uh they originally went with 72 standing dunk and i put this on my 6-6 popper build this is not a popper but it's the most dominant center i've seen in stage right now um just getting rebounds and being a big dog everyone that i know that knows the standing dunk now they go 81 that silver rise up is basically like 92 from last year where you got gold rise up so i don't know i think 81 is all you need i literally dunk like Shaq. i have no problem getting standing dunks off i just have to have a smart take it's no longer where you can kobe jab step in the paint and get a dead zone and do the standing dunk meter over someone this just holding x on a slip or something will make you dunk like Shaq. that's all you need going any higher will just be overkill and you get this aerial wizard on hall of fame right here too all right our pass accuracy another thing about the pass accuracy i've seen guards that have a 67 pass act throw me crazy lobs with this build because you can literally slip double tap rt before the lock and center can switch if you're setting screens or anything like that on the twos especially the twos it's free lobs the threes you have a lock and a center but on the twos you normally have like a guard or a center or a guard and a post score or a block and a post score someone's going to be slower than you on the court and you have to abuse them and you can get easy lobs off every single time so double tap rt when you're slipping you'll get a crazy boost speed boost and there you go and yeah like i was saying the pass actually really hasn't been a problem for anybody all right so 71 pass accuracy i played with 67 because that's like one of the pass accuracy that it maxes out at if you have like a 92 ball handle that's like the lowest pass i can get or something like that is 67 so that's why that's a common one and i've seen 85 i've seen it all bro and yeah some the higher pass accuracy can throw like crazy faster lobs you know but these lobs still get through i've seen people with a 25 pass accuracy throw me lobs okay so if i'm on the roll and he's on the roll and we're headed towards the rim that's all that matters if his body's running towards the rim and i'm running towards the rim with that low low pass accuracy it doesn't matter you can get these lobs off it's not about like the lob itself the lobs are just broken in this game if you have a high pass accuracy then you can be running away or running out to the three-point line like you're about to back fade or something you just throw a crazy lob but this build has a 71 pass accuracy all you need is bronze break starter you can literally throw from one end of the threes court if you're passing it in you can throw the ball from that point all the way to the opposite corner say you're on the left side bringing it in on the left corner basically out of bounds passing it into the garden you're you're number two or whoever's playing the two for you is in the right corner you can if he's wide open you can throw it to him now sometimes yeah he'll bobble it you know he's not going out of bounds but he'll bobble it but sometimes it's just right in his chest like i'd say more than it probably should be it's right in his chest for having a 71 and it being a full court pass and only having break starter on bronze which i don't even think that would matter i think that's after yeah it's only grabbing a rebound after grabbing a rebound which that's perfectly fine that might be why he bobbles it because i never notice off rebound my, my guy bobbling it if he runs a bad route he might get pulled into a weird direction but it's not it's he's not bobbling it from this pass accuracy so this is good our perimeter defense i had it at an 87 for this off ball pest but that's one of the tweaks i made to this build was just an 85 because i want this on ball minute silver i think if you get a switch you need that i tried to go 87 just to get off ball pest but it ended up not being worth it all right then i went with an 85 steal which is all you need and the way that this build's gonna work you're gonna be able to eventually get interceptor hall of fame which is a very very big thing when you make this build being able to get that badge is huge your block is an 84 i'm gonna be honest i have on a 88 i think which gives me high flying denier it's just not worth it it's expensive getting to an 88 and it's not worth it you don't gain paint patroller gold you don't go you don't gain a higher pogo stick or anything like that it's just it's not as good bro as i thought it was gonna be getting an 88 it's just not like I i'm telling you the truth i'd rather you make it with an 84 and only get silver the silver is really for paint patroller silver or 84 is really for paint patroller silver not for because interior defense is cooked if you wall up and you play good defense you're probably gonna make a miss but it's so easy to slip around you or something like that where they can just get a rebound and slip around you and lay it up consistently it's so broken and the chase downs are terrible bro seven foot five wingspan you will get chase downs and you will smash your block shit to the ground but like for having gold high flying denier it's not as overwhelming as you would think yeah i don't even think hall of fame or legend would be that good i really really don't there unless the threshold is like 95 block until you start getting some crazy blocks i don't i mean you will get good animations but the amount of times you actually get it it's not as much as it should be in my opinion you will get them i'm not saying you won't but in this stage if you're playing park or you're playing wreck you're probably gonna be swatting shit but if you're playing people that are smart it's like 
that that little that little millisecond that like you need your hand looks like it's right there but if you would have just been a little bit closer you'd have pinned it it doesn't get that animation enough to where i'm just catching up to and smacking it that's just my opinion if you want to go 88 block you want to tweak this you can but you will get blocks with 84 and you will be you'll be you'll be fine in the paint bro i promise you no one's scoring on you now for my offensive rebound i went with a 95 this is the final look at the build okay look your interior defense is good all right your pro smooth lockdown is not that good that's really the only thing that's a downfall of this build but i promise you bro i had a build with a 90 interior gold post move lockdown those post scores if they get down there and they're seven foot three they're scoring the way to stop a post score is to when he has the ball with 14 seconds you foul and you make that post score pass the ball in and i know on the ones you're cooked bro i'm sorry to tell you you're cooked the post scoring down the paint interior defense it's not good i'll be honest with you i'm not a big fan of this game i'm just i just know what's good though it's i'm not a fan of this game but i know what's good on this game if that makes sense i don't really think this game is that good but i do know what is good in this game does that make any sense please i hope that makes some sense to y'all i promise you i have a bill with a 90 interior if you play a good post score now most post scores are not that good because they made that build for a reason but if you play someone good if they get down within three feet of that rim i promise you they're scoring post move lockdown on gold it will it will stop and so will bronze it will stop if they're just backing you down trying to they literally go on lt from the three-point line at the top of the key and try to back you straight down then you're gonna stop it even with bronze you'll stop but if they can do anything any type of spins or any type of little glitches or any type of little lt let go on off lt glitching around weirdly with the left stick getting down in the paint they're scoring it doesn't matter what your interior defense is they're scoring that's why with 14 seconds left you foul them and you try to have them pass it in and you press them again and try to make them work for it because yes if you play good defense you don't let them get right under that goal they're stoppable but even with a 75 i've stopped many on this build this is a demon build so don't worry about that when you're looking at this interior defense don't worry about that perimeter defense you're gonna be able to switch off anything and play great defense and eventually and if you really wanted to you could boost this to silver if you want it because your steel you're gonna put your tier one badge elevator onto interceptor hall of fame interceptor will have you hawk and lane especially with a seven foot wide wingspan your glove you're gonna be able to get blitz and stuff like that all right speaking back again about high flying denier you can put that on tier two as well and get gold if you really really wanted to but there's no point in going eight up on the block it's just no point there's no point in going eight up on the blocks so with your cat breaker what you're gonna do is get plus four to off its rebound you're gonna get legend box out beast uh you don't get hall of fame poker stick but it's fine legend rebound chaser because at 96 you get hall of fame and then at 99 you're gonna get legend rebound legend box out with the box out beast you're gonna need to go four on the off rebound plus one to the strength because you need a 96 strength to get legend then you can use your badge elevators right tier one badge elevator can go on interceptor hall of fame hall of fame interceptor legend rebound chaser legend box out beast or you can go legend brick wall which is probably what i would do i would do legend brick wall badge elevate brick wall badge elevate interceptor interceptor hall of fame legend brick wall legend rebound chaser legend box out beast gold posterizer a movable enforcer you got crazy silver badges to just be able to play perimeter defense just be able to play perimeter defense to be able to guard a guard you'll be able to clamp a guard which is kind of crazy you got amazing finishing you got decent pass badges this build right here is gonna be insane all right i think this is probably what you're gonna be seeing a lot unless there's a way to get this build even faster i don't think there is but the legend off the rebounds if you're playing with the inside center you need off the rebounds right you're gonna have legend rebound chaser so defensive rebounds you're gonna get them anyways all right so uh, 81 don't be worried about that you're gonna get them anyways 95 is just to get you close to that 99 you go plus four there plus one on the strength and there you go this is the build right here for y'all boys this build is gonna be insane you've seen it in the video this build will not disappoint you i promise you if you if what i've described to you sounds fun to do i promise you it's a dog you're not gonna get out rebounded you're gonna be boxing out crazy you're gonna snag get crazy snag animations get crazy lanes you're gonna be a defensive monster getting rebounds securing possessions being fast on defense and it's gonna you're gonna be able to have some fun because i know shooting's fun scoring's fun that's why i went with this high driving dunk and i've seen a lot of people doing it because you want to have some fun obviously that's the fun factor is being able to score and drive and dunk that's the fun on offense and being able to set big bodies and get every single rebound and just be able to dog because you know your guards are missing in this game you know your guards are missing no one is shooting high percentages unless they patch it so if they don't patch shooting this build right here is going to be the meta for the rest of the year i promise you that dwight howard clint capella and robert williams makes sense dwight howard makes sense this is literally a dwight howard monster let's see what the, the build's name two-way interior scorer bro this build is literally insane two-way offense and defense interior scorer can do everything bro this build can literally do everything now if y'all want my animation i'm gonna go ahead and give you my animations now my animation motion style is dennis rodman now i'm gonna give you all my my dunks that i use okay all 
contact dunks that I can get, both the pro contact dunks that I can get. Danny dunks, I normally would equip just these, like elite basket rim pulls, pro under basket, and then athletic. I really wouldn't even go for the regular, but you can if you want. For these packages, I use Russell Westbrook. I use Kobe Bryant for those reverse dunks that he gets. I use Aaron Gordon only because he has some good standing dunk packages. Aaron Gordon and Draymond Green, like look at Draymond Green's standing dunk packages. Look, he looks like he's bringing the rim down, bro, like Shaq, right? With 81 standing dunk. So that's the reason I use Draymond Green. Anthony Edwards has some of the fastest dunk packages in the game, for, especially for 82 driving dunk. He has some super good dunk packages. Giannis has some glitchy dunk packages. Put on Giannis. You would be able to get the Shaq dunks, but you're just not tall enough. I use Dominique Wilkins as well. LeBron James takes off from far, but he cocks it back, but I still use it. And that's about it. Look at these animations. This is what I use. If you have any suggestions, let me know because I've tried some of these. Uh, but these are just the ones I feel safe with. Even Zach Levine's good. Now, the alley oops. Look at everything that's unlocked here. You literally get all of the contacts. Like, look at these contact lobs you're going to be getting, boys. I mean, holy moly. Look at that. Holy shit. You're going to be looking like Prime Dwight, bro. You're going to be looking like Prime Dwight. I'm not going to lie. Prime Dwight. Dude, you're you're literally catching bodies on bodies on bodies out here. Look at this. Holy moly. Hmm. Hmm. Come here. Hmm. 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 Y'all get the point. And then I really just focus on reverse dunks, baseline reverses if I ever try to drive in and go baseline, one hand reverses, I do the double clutch one hands as well, the front clutches, cradles, or one hand reverse, baseline reverses off one, there you go, those are all the dunk packages that I use, okay, everything, if you put all that on right there, you're gonna be a dog in the paint, trust me. So that's the bill, boys, two-way interior score, drop a like, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on post notifications, that way y'all boys never miss any of my bangers, this build's gonna change your life, if you wanna be inside center, best inside center VC glitch in the game. All right, love y'all boys. Drop a like. Click on any of the videos on the screen right now. Click them. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all boys and girls, I guess, if you're trying to be a little demon popper. Some females worldwide trying to be a demon inside center. I love y'all too. All right, so drop a like, subscribe, and I'm out, man. Peace.